All right, because my computer's not working, the Halton Hills Bulldogs are up 3 to nothing over the Gunnawagi Hunters. There's 6.43 left to go in period one. And until my computer restarts, I will be doing this live from my phone. Hunters on the power play. They just took a timeout. They hard at Yordis McCumber. Came in Daibo. He shoots. He misses it. Trying to go short side. Picked up by McCumber. Shot clock down to seven. Owen Rice. Dylan Martin. They hard at Yordis. And that shoulder to side. And Halton Hills picks it up. Back come the dogs. During the first intermission, we're going to go back. We were able to run a test successfully. Here's Cayman Daibo on the fast break. And that shot shoulder to side by Constantinopoulos. Hunters have a fresh 30. 50 seconds left to go on the power play. Six minutes left to go in period one. It is 3-0. Advantage Halton Hills. They hard at Yardage McCumber. Cayman Daibo. Walking in. We're playing, by the way, at the Toronto Rock Athletics Trace Center. And Constantinopoulos is just on everything right now. He has looked really good. Uh, the Hunters playing better than they did uh, for most of the period last night. As uh, that's knocked away by Reese Glover Kirby and stolen, picked up by Wata Daibo. In comes Daibo into halted territory. Garrett Cree telling him to bring it out. He's going to shoot it. That's stopped by Constantinopoulos and brought back in. Hunters will get it with five seconds to go on the penalty. Gondawagi 0 for 1 on the power play. Halton Hills leading 3 0. Connor Gorman on the near side. And we will try to switch back to the computer as there's a shot by Gorman, stick save made, try to go five hole. We will try to go back to the computer and the camera during the second period. But this is what we can do right now for period one. Three nothing Halton Hills and thrown back up the center. And it's scooped up by Carter McKay. McKay skips it, good pass to the far side, left of the goal. Here's Le Zach Tarr. Kicks it off. Dejo Nadege Nicholas makes a shoulder save and a rebound. Halton Hills back on it. Simmons back out. McKay around a the screen. There's a shot that misses far to side and the Bulldogs got it back. 422 left to go in period one. 3 0 Halton Hills. Good defense by Xavier Haber. The Donna trying to get it. Ethan Drake, by the way, out with an upper body injury. Cayman Daibo back in. As Connor Gorman brings it into halted territory. Gorman waits for a screen. I'm sorry, I gotta open up my kids' drink right now. Gorman shoots, stick save made by Constantinopoulos. Everything the Hunters are shooting right now is low, and that's not working against the Halton Hills tender. 3.50 to go in period one. So when we get to the first intermission, we will try to switch back to the computer. Probably a too many men call coming up to the Hunters. There's a shot that misses and we've got our verdict. It's a high sticky call against the Hunters. <coughs> Sorry, I just gotta check on my computer here. I swear I'm going to be looking at the game in five seconds. I swear, just... All right. Well, that's loading up. 3.32 left to go. Halton Hills one for one on the power play. Cayman Dibo takes the penalty. There's a shot. Pat save made and a rebound. Bulldogs get a second chance. Shot fake and there's a goal. Jameson Steele with the finish, 4-0 Halton Hills. Just nothing which the Hunters have done has worked here. Absolutely nothing has done right. I don't know how to have people join the video, sorry. I really don't know how. Someone just tried to say, like, let's join the video. I, I don't know how to do that. And this is a last ditch effort to give you back home this game until at least the first intermission because I was able to run a successful test which is available on my YouTube channel. We were testing, and then some 20 minutes later, after not changing the computer, it just said, all right, sorry. Draw. Draw. Here comes Gunawage. Creighton Cree. Gunawage trailing by four goals here with three minutes left to go. 
Suggle Rice. And a moving pick. And it's going to be more than that even. Tripping call on Owen Rice. This has just been a... They, you know, the Hunters are a very youthful team. This is an extremely youthful team, and that youth and inexperience is showing right now. All right, so folks listening back home, I'm going to be streaming right now off the computer on the YouTube channel. So if one of you could just do me a favor and type if you're able to see it. Because I just started streaming off the off my YouTube channel right now. We'll go back to there if there's a shot off the post. If we are able to stream there, we'll resume the action there. There's a shot, save made. So check on my YouTube channel. It should be highlighted and circled in the next 30 to 40 seconds. Hunter's killing a penalty. Billy Dadana, who was injured in game three, but was able to come back. This looks like the second period looked like last night. Just all Halton Hills. Hunter's got to be frustrated. They're throwing a lot of shots on net. They cannot beat Constantinopolis. Everything that the Hunters are shooting are low, and everything that they're shooting are at is answered. So... I guess that's the that's the answer to everything. Here come the Bulldogs. Up by a score of four to nothing over the Hunters. Ganawagi needs to win. This is the only series going on right now. Every other series in the East was a sweep. <coughs> Creighton Cree. Dehardu Yordich McCumber. He had five goals last night. So if somebody is able to get a reception on my on my YouTube, let me know, please. Just type. I think you could just type in here. Here's a shot by McCumber, and again, Gorman tried to go five hole. Every shot the Hunters are putting is low. Shoot the damn ball in the air because everything you shoot on the ground is not going in. Shoot it in the air. Seventy-five seconds left to go in this first period. And apparently I'm not live right now, unfortunately. Back behind the net, a shot, crease violation, Hunter's ball. So, if I'm not able to stream live on my YouTube, then what I'll do is I'll just keep the action here. So we're going to just keep it rolling here on this Facebook. Share as many people as possible. Dobbins shut down, did not hit the net. Suggle Rice picks it up. Shot clock at 10. Rice picks it up. Lobs it in the air. They hard at yard. It's McCumber. It came in Dybo. Shot clock down to five. A boxer. He scores! Came in Dybo. And it might have taken 19 minutes and 20 seconds, but it sure as hell feels a lot better than not getting one in the period. Hunter's on the board. A nice bouncer. Of course, this is the where the Toronto Rock... National Lacrosse League team plays, so turf pristine, or as we would say back home, mint. So 4-1, to one, Halton Hills leading. Face off one by the Hunters, and Ganawage has it. Creighton Cree on the near side. Cree spins through. Ooh, he got need. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, no. Oh no, oh no, uh, I can't say for certainty what happened, but it looked like his knee buckled on him. Oh man, oh no, oh no, oh. They hardened Jordan's McCumber and they hide your with Deer the assists on the goal, but more pressing right now. Creighton Cree just went down in a heap, holding on to his right knee. He uh, he lost his balance trying to spin through a double team, and as he was falling to the floor, he got kind of he kind of got hit by two players that were coming in the opposite directions, and he's hope. He's putting some weight on that knee. Oh. Well, thankfully he's able to walk off on his own power, but man, when 
you see somebody holding on to your knees, obvious onto their knees, that the very worst thoughts come to mind. But thank goodness Creighton Cree walking off here. 27.4 seconds left, shot clock off. As we mentioned, every Eastern Conference series is done except for this one. If there's a game five, we'll have it for you. It'll be at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Halton Hills has pulled their netminder, extra attacker on. So here we go. Alton Hills, led by Jameson Steele. 14 seconds left to go in the first. Steele. Trying to drive in. Four seconds to go. Jameson Steele puts on the brakes. Whips it back up top. There's a drive. Chest saved by Nicholas. And that will do it for period number one. Well, the Hunters do score the last goal of the period. I guess that's the consolation. They are trailing 4-1 to one at the end of period one. I'm going to cut the live stream on my phone right now and try to get back to the computer. If we cannot run it from the camera, I will be back for the second period. I'll make sure that this post is public so everyone, even who doesn't, who's not my Facebook friend, can follow. I will cut the stream now and I will see you either on my camera or on my phone for the start of period two. You're watching Hunters Lacrosse on Baby Blue Memories. See you soon. All right, so here we go with the start of the second period. This is the only show going on in the OLA Junior B's Eastern Conference. Orange will swept Gloucester last night. Nepean swept Aurelia. And Aquazasne sweeping the Clarington Green Yales. Hunters win this game, it'll be Ganawage against the, or it'll be game five, but if the Hunters can come back and win this series, then it would be the Hunters and Nepean. Aquazasne would take on Orangeville. If Halton is able to hold on here, then we're going to have a showdown between Halton Hills and Orangeville with Lapian taking on Aquazasne. But it's still 4-1. to one. Again, this is the only show in the Eastern Conference. Any other series is over. Delayed call against Halton Hills coming up. Came in Dybo. Sharp angle shot saved by Constantinopolis, who has been excellent. And we've got a holding call against Halton Hills. So it's time to put this baby to go on the power play. This game, of course, brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo. And this power play brought to you by Find the Queen. Over at Super Bingo, over $1,000 can be won each and every single 5.30 p.m. on Zoom. Here's Karna Gorman. The right side. Boy, Kamen had a little bit of room there to take it if he wanted to go. Back up. Daibo returning the give and go. They hardened yard. It's Cayman Daibo. Schweiers! There was some room on that short side, but that was shouldered away. I think the Hunters got the memo. Aim high. All your low shots are not going in. There's a drive, and that missed. Even the goal that the Hunters scored was a bounce shot, which bounced over the top of Constantinopolis's net. Oh, we got an early. Too many on Halton. Turnover. And it's gone to walk in possession. Came and Daibo brings it back for the Hunters. 4-1, one, one, 1, 15 left to go. And this has been a second period series for the Bulldogs. They have outscored the Hunters 16-5 to five in the second period for the first three games of the series. Hunters need that trend to reverse. Gorman fires! Went low and a stick save made. And now the Bulldogs, Aramel went up to the near side, taken over by Ben Wittich. Wittich into Hunters territory. Wittich gets a screen. Nicholas makes a save. Halt in possession. So four to one, Bulldogs leading. And we're gonna try once again when there's a timeout and a break here or the third period to try to go back to the camera. Now we were able to run a test. <coughs> Alton Hills, Steele, fires, stick saved by Dehunadige Nicholas. Ganawagi, a young team, only two players graduating, and they're going to have to find some big time experience right now. Cayman Daibo, 15 to go in the power. 
They hard yardage McCumber gets the return feed. He's giving it going on the leak side. Now back to the strong side where it's came in, whipping it over. Shot, chest save made by Constantinopolis. That's been another trend too for the Hunters. One shot on net, no rebounds. It's one thing to make the save, it's another to control the rebound, and that's what Constantinopolis is doing for Alton Hills right now. 4 to 1 Bulldogs, if you just go joining us, 17 15 left to go in the second period. That's thrown away by the Dogs. Hit the ceiling, and the Hunters come back. What the Diba whips it over. Colby Dobbins. The Hunters would love to see Dobbins get on track in this series. He's He's been a sniper throughout the course of the season. Here's Owen Rice around the screen. Backhands it over and that pass misses Deer. Behind your Rukwa. Holton Pills picks it up. <coughs> and back come the Bulldogs into Hunter's territory. Feed out in front. And that'll be fumbled and the Hunters get the ball. I can't repeat that Winter but I agree. That comes Billy Dodonna, who was injured in game three, but back in the lineup, as is Cayman Daibo, who missed game three. Daibo on the near side. Gets a screen from Dylan Martin. The Hunters would love to see him get on track offensively as well. Shot clock down to seven. Hunter's going to have to put it up here. That miss hit the back of the netminder, but not the front. And that's been the problem right there. No movement for the Hunters on offense. The ball was on the strong side for 20 seconds. You got to move that ball around. And nobody getting open for Cayman Dybo to pass the ball to. Here's Tar, and he's turned away. Side deer. Ball loose behind the net. Halton Hill scoops it up. Fresh 30 Bulldogs. Now to the middle of the net. On the near side. Steal. Pad saved by Nicholas. The rebound, the flex. And Holton's got it. Near side shot. Save made on the cross crease pass. Back in called on the Hunters. Four to one dogs with 15-11 left to go in the second. Two acts pressuring up high. That's what the Daibo knocking the ball free. And it's scooped back up by Halton. Zach Tarr got it over. Hayes had it taken back. Gets the return. Bouncer and Shot Clock resets. It's not supposed to. Seven seconds to shoot. There's a shot deflection. Oh, that went off a of hunter's stick. That's what they're saying. Yeah, interference on the on Halton Hills, so the Hunters will get the ball. Four to one with 14:45 left to go here in the second. The Hunters got to start moving the ball around. Like the last two offensive possessions, the ball's been stagnant on one side of the floor. Here's some movement. Came and Dybo just missed it. Dobbins tucks in low and gets the feed. Kobe. Oh, he stumbled. Ah, oh, no. Ah, no. Colby Dobbins rolled his ankle or his knee trying to come around the net. And he is in a lot of pain right now behind that net. We saw Creighton Cree roll either his knee or his ankle in the first period. And now Colby Dobbins on the floor for the Hunters. Boy, this is, this is not good. This is potentially devastating news for the Hunters. Trailing 4-1 to one and now Colby Dobbins, folks. I'm just going to check on my computer. But right now, Colby Dobbins has rolled his either leg or his ankle. And you can tell he looked really awkward when he went around the net. And he's still down on all fours right now. It's 4-1 to one if you're just joining us. There's 14.27 left to go. 
If the Hunters win, we've got a Game 5 tomorrow at 2 p.m. If Halton Hills holds on, they advance and they will play against Orangeville. Aquazaste sweeping the Green Gales last night. Orangeville swept Gloucester and oh boy, Dobbins is not able to put any pressure on that knee. So Colby Dobbins being carried off, but he can't even put any weight on that. It's his left knee. Sorry. Creighton Cree left in the first period with a knee injury or an ankle injury. And now Colby Dobbins making his way back. All right. So we're back here. Alton Hills up 4-1. to one. Dobbins immediately going back to the dressing room. And scooped up by Gondolagi. Xavier Haber. Haber in on a breakaway. He shoots. Save. Everything the Hunters are shooting is low right now. Glover Kirby lost his man. Feet out in front. Quick stick. Good save, Nicholas. Harlan got it back out. Steal. There's a drive. Stick save. They who nod the game, Nicholas. Billy Dodonna. On the near side. Dodonna spins around Harlan. And now Gorman picks it up. Connor Gorman on the far side. Back up. Cayman Dibo. They hard to McCumber. Back to Cayman. They work a little give and go up top. They hard to Back on the far side. Whipped to Cayman Dibo. Dibo. He fires trying to go upstairs. And you know what? I'm just going to say Constantinopolis, even though that didn't hit the net, he did not look that confident on that shot. You got to start aiming high if you're the Hunters. Everything that Gunawagi shoots is low right now. Uh, Halton quicking it up. There's a shot. Chest save. Nicholas. And back comes Gunawagi. Wesley Morris on the near side. Accelerating. Morris decides not to attack the zone. Drops it back for Cayman Dibo. Wesley staying on the floor. Four righties and one lefty out there with Morris staying on the floor. They hard at yard. It's McCumber on in isolation. Back out to Cayman. Shaw clock down to seven. Back in front. Cayman! Oh, he missed it! It's a shot clock violation. And you know what? We're starting to see some ball movement for the Hunters. We're starting to see ball movement. They're not stagnant. The last couple of possessions, they have not been stagnant on one side. Okay, I can't turn my phone while live. Sorry, folks. That's my bad. There you go. Steel. Cutting to the middle. Steel. Down low. The pass is deflected. And there's Bork taking his man out at the tip of the crease. Crease violation. And now the hunt has come back. Tied two axe. Accelerates up the center. Two axe. Four to one Halton Hills. 12 minutes left to go. Penalty coming up to the Bulldogs. They who now the game. Nicholas goes to the bench. Extra attacker on there. Delayed call on the Bulldogs for a slash or a high stick. Owen Rice. 10 seconds to shoot. Rice up top. There's a shot through traffic blocked. High stick. And now the Hunters will go to work on a power play. They are 0 for 2 tonight with the man advantage. Halton Hills, two for three. Special teams has uh, really been a big factor in this series. I'm just gonna check my computer once again, folks, sorry. Nothing interesting happening on the floor. Okay, now I take that back. Now there is something happening. Hunter's on a power play, trying to make this game interesting, trailing four to one with 11.30 to go in the second. They hard at yard, it's McCumber to Owen Rice. Rice, bouncer. That misses, goes back to center. Rice re re retrieves it. Bouncing it over to Cayman Dibo. Shot clock down to nine. Dibo. Around the net. Back up top. They hard to yard it. Save. Rebound. Martin deflects it. Second chance opportunity, Hunters. 
There you go. Rice, the shot misses. They hard at Jordan's McCummer, picks it up. Owen Rice to Cayman Dybo. Dybo walking in. Scores! No! No! Crossbar! Crossbar! No goal! Ball behind the net, stolen by the Hunters. Came and Dybo hit one off the Kerrang, one off the crossbar. One minute to go on the Hunters power play. Nealon Martin up top. They hardly yard it. McCumber turned away. And Constantinopolis is on it. Hunters scored six goals in the first period last night and have scored four in the sorry, five in the last five periods since then. Four periods. Not for a lack of trying. Constantinopolis has been brilliant. Tar challenging Haybear. Now he drives to the goal. Tar, good slide by side near, and he knocks it free. Haybear pressured by Steele and Steele, and Tar comes up with it. Ball rolled to the side. That goes into the Halton Hills bench. We got a holding call on Reese Glover Kirby, and that will take care of the power play. Well, to be fair, Poe, everything that they're shooting is. Most of the shots that they're shooting are low, but when they're shooting at high, Constantinopolis doesn't look all that confident. I mean, even the goal the Hunter scored, it was a bounce shot by Cayman Dybo, which went in over the top of his shoulder. This is some high quality tarp we're talking about here. So four on four for the next 13 seconds. And the Hunters are now 0 for 3 on the power play. I love you, baby girl. Power play now for the Bulldogs. Steel. Steel up top, backhands it over. Well, Holton Hetminer went to the bench. Now comes back. There's a shot. Stick save made. Billy Dodonna up the floor, got by side near and into Holton territory. Gorman after it, and Connor Gorman's on it. Gorman spins around. Gorman, a backhander. Oh, well, went in Rome, I guess. Over and back against the Hunters. Holton Hills ball with. 9.08 left to go in the second. No goal scored in this period up to this point. <coughs> Hunters killing a penalty. The Bulldogs 2 for 3 on the power play. The Hunters 0 for 3. That's basically the difference in the game right now. Back up top. To the middle it comes. Chest save. And a rebound. The flex out. Alton settles it in. Jimerson went after it. Couldn't get it. 40 seconds to go in the pole to power play. Up top it comes. Tar. Fires. Stick save. They nod the game. And the Hunters scoop it up. Wesley Morris gets as far as center. Changes directions. Has to get over. Oh, he does get it over, but jeez. Taking a bit of a risk there. 15 seconds to go in the power play. They hard at Jordan's McCumber. Shot clock down to eight. Penalty clock and shot clock at the same thing. And it's deflected and intercepted by Halton. Owen Rice trying to get back into the play. Chest save. And a rebound picked up by the Hunters. Good pressure by Owen Rice. Tie two axe. To Cayman Dybo on the near side. Dybo, 7.40 to go in the second. Holton Hills 4, Gondawage 1. 7.35 left to go in the second period. No goals yet in this period. Dang, I do not quite changes that. He scores! Dang, I do not quite Deers got his second point. One goal, one assist. And well, there's one that goes low. He sneaks it in short side. And Dehai Nyurakwa Deer gets the goal, and that'll make it 4 to 2 with 7.30 to go in the second.
I mean, I'm trying in vain once again to see if the, the camera will stream live. So someone could check the computer in about, uh, the YouTube in about 40 seconds, see if I'm streaming live. I'll probably try to carry it on there. Push on the back against the Hunters, Halton Hills ball. De Hainyurukwa Deer has halved the lead here. It's 4-2 to two for Halton Hills. Cayman Dybul gets the assist. And Ty Tuax gets the secondary assist. 4-2, to two, Halton. Back to the middle. Shot clock down to 10. There's a shot. Shoulder save, Nicholas. A rebound, deflects, and the Bulldogs are on it. Took a crazy bounce. And Halton's on it. Back up top, there's a shot saved by Nicholas. Reese Clever Kirby. Boy, he did a little ankle breaker as he drops Haynes with that spinorama. Billy Dadana. Billy, don't call me Prima Donna. Uh, a bench violation. Halton Hills comes on the breakaway. Oh, stick save, Nicholas. And Nicholas throws it, throws it away. Wesley Morris scoops it up. Morris. And that deflects. That one was telegraphed, and the Bulldog that was trailing was able to get a stick in the way. 4-2 to Halton Hills. Six minutes and five seconds left to go. Cayman Daibo and Dehai Nyurakwa Deer have scored to have this lead. It's 4-2 to two with six minutes to go in the second. Moving pick! Here comes Jimerson. It's a halt of territory. Landed Jimerson. Shoots! Hey, hit! Hey, hit the post! Press 30 Hunters. As Jimerson attacking. Cayman Daibo picks it up. Orman. Rice in front. There's a try. Shoulder save made. Rebound loose at the side of the crease. And Dylan Martins is on it. Alright, so I'm not going live over there. Owen Rice. I'm going to stay here, folks. We're going to stay here. We'll keep it here. It's working. It doesn't seem to be all that choppy. Let's keep it here. Cayman Dybo. The give and go. Shoulder save made by Constantinopolis. That's a back in. Yes, it is. Hunter's ball. Well, the Hunters have turned up the heat here. Look out. McCumber spins. Gets it back out. Cayman Dybo gets a shot from the house. That stop. And a rebound. Owen Rice trying to chop it free. Two on one. Hey, there's a shoulder save. Halton picks it back up. That's a moving pick. Xavier Haber. One hands it over. Tuggle Rice, and we got an interference on the Hunters. Here comes Holton Hills. Bulldogs leading this baby 4-2 to two with uh, 4.30 left to go on the second. Chris Harlan. Around the screen. Harlan jokes it back out to the house. There's a shot blocked. Rebound. holton has got it. Good stop in tight by Dehunadier Nicholas. Point blank range as well. Ty Tuax has the man open. He's got it. What a pass by Ty Tuax. Threading the needle and DeHart Jordan's McCumber finishes it off. It's 4-3. The Hunters have scored three in a row. DeHart Jordan's McCumber gets the goal. And the Hunters have made this a one-goal game with 4-13 to go in the second period. Ty Tuax gets the assist on that goal. It's 4-3, to three and Halton wins it. Four minutes left to go in the second. And back come the Bulldogs, leading this baby 4-3, to three, under four minutes to go in the second period. We will be back here on my personal page for the start of the third. 
We still got some time in between now and then. Tar skips it over. Pass to the far side. There's a shot. Save made by Dehunadige. Nicholas is going to just dump it off. I like the uh, thought, but you know what? This is probably a good decision by Wetzel Dybul to bring it up. Cayman Dybul. Drops back. Daibo. Double sees a double team looming, being pressured by Haynes. Owen Rice skips it over. McCumber, bouncer, save, a rebound loose on the tip of the crease. And Halton brings it up. Back to the middle. Tar. Tebow. Gavin Tebow in possession. Skips it over to the far side. And it's made to the house for a drive to the net and a shot. Shoulder save by Dehunadige Nicholas. These officials are letting them play. A lot of contact. Jimerson. Dehardu Jordan's McCumber. To Cayman Daibo. Around a screen. Daibo has a look. Pits it out in front. Shoulder save. Crease violation anyway. And back on the Bulldogs. Thrown away. And look at Xavier Haybear. Oh, he got running too hard. And Reese Glover Kirby, the captain for the Hunters, scoops it up. Reese gets out of that. Gets to his bench and gets it over to Dylan Martin. Boy, would the Hunters love to see him. Colby Dobbins and Creighton Cree are both out. They both left this game due to injuries, lower body injuries. In front, Martin, score! Dylan Martin! Give and go, the oldest trick in the book. Give and go. Dylan Martin ties the game. It's 4-4 with 152 left to go on the second. Give and go, give and go. The oldest play in the book. Came and Dybo sets a screen. Dylan Martin finishes it. And the Hunters have scored four in a row. They've tied this baby up at four. Came and Dybo, his third point of the night. Billy Dodonna scoops it up. Hunters have scored four in a row. When it looks like they were in the pits of hell, they've tied this baby up. Here is Dehai Nyerukwa Deer. He's got one of the goals. Shot fake. There's a bouncer. That does not hit the net. Boy, it scrapes the ceiling here. Stays in play. Shot clock down to four. McCumber. And that one will not hit either. Shot clock violation on the Hunters. Halton Hills ball with 74 ticks left to go here in the second period. This game brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo. Not broadcasting from a camera this time. Broadcasting from yours truly's phone. And y'all go right now to the 71 folks watching. At least the 71 I could see. Final minute here in the second. Spin around by Steele. Shoulder save, Nicholas. Reese Glover Kirby traps it. And he scoops up the loose ball. Reese Glover Kirby. Cayman Dybo. Now there's a late change. Cayman Dybo with 14 on the shot clock. 25 second differential shot in game clock. De Hardut Jordan's McCumber. To Cayman. Cayman driving. Cayman shooting. Scoring! Cayman Dybo! They're shredding him in the second. The Hunters have outscored Halton 4-0 in period two. They've scored five in a row. And for the first time tonight, the Hunters have taken the lead. Cayman Dybo, the finish. 28.8 seconds left to go in the second period. And the Hunters have taken the lead, 6-5. Ball knocked away, it's stolen by Halton, and the Bulldogs will take a timeout. Timeout, Halton Hills. 22.9 left to go in the second period. Yeah, I know. 
Imagine if it was the third. It's not. It's the second period. The Hunters were down 4 nothing, and have scored five in a row to leapfrog the Bulldogs. 5-4, to 22.9 seconds to play. If there is a game five, if the Hunters hang on here and win, we will have that for you tomorrow live at 2 p.m. If my camera does not work, we're going to stream live from my Facebook page. Uh, not from my Facebook page, from my business page. That's Baby Blue Memories. That's where we'll try to stream from. Cayman Daibo has just scored to give the Hunters the lead. It's 5-4 Gunawagi leading as we are now down to the final 22.9 seconds left in the second period. Sorry folks, so if you're probably seeing some kind of movement here, that's just me dancing. They're playing David Guetta's memories and that reminds me so much of 2010. What I was doing, we will not discuss. It's 21 years old. With a chocolate milk mustache. I was a rookie there, I was a veteran now, and now the youngsters, the hunters, trying to hang on to this lead here at this end of the second period. Bulldogs have pulled their goalie, extra attacker on for this final possession of this second period. Zach Tarr. Shot clock, or game clock down to 10. Shot clock not a factor. Tarr. Skips it over, back behind the goal. Now they're going. Penalty coming up to the Hunters. Saved by Nicholas with one tick left. We got an illegal cross check call coming up to the Hunters. And that, well that's the shot clock. Why did the shot clock go off? There's no shot clock when there's 22 seconds left. And now some pushing and shoving in front of that Hunters net, Alex Messier. Exchanging pleasantries with what the Daibo That's it. So we will go to the third period of play. We're going to come back. I'll be streaming from my personal page here. Now we'll go into joining us currently at 84 folks here watching. We'll come right back. The Hunters lead the Halton Hills Bulldogs 5-4. to four. This is the only show in the Eastern Conference right now. Every other series is complete. The Hunters hoping that this series, we'll see another game tomorrow. 5-4 Hunters, we're coming back with period three. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. See you in nine minutes flat. Win. All right, we're good. Yeah. Here, Donkey Kong. Oh, on. Okay, hang on. We'll change that, okay? Hang on, there. Sorry, I'm just setting up my kid's video game. I'm gonna be like 15 seconds. I swear, I'm just setting up my kid's video game. Sorry, Tiff, I'm just setting up my kid's video game, that's all. <laughs> Here, baby. Win or go home. That's really what this is all about right now for the Gunawage Hunters. Up 5-4, Halton Hills on a power play. That third or that second intermission could not come soon enough for the Bulldogs. 19.35 to go in the third. Halton in white, Gahnawagi in maroon. Jameson Steele gets the return feed. Steele. Tar. Pass across. There's a shot. Shoulder save, Nicholas. There's a shot and a save made. Sorry folks, I gotta check something. I gotta fix something for my kid. <laughs> I'm trying, baby. 
I'm trying to do two things at once. I can barely do one. All right. There we go. This says men can't multitask. All right. Hunters shorthanded with De Hardut Yordich McCumber. Shot clock down to four. McCumber drifting to his right. He just fires a bouncer that stop. And then he got finished. Ooh, and some, some pushing and shoving. And De Hardut Yordich and Chris Harlan are chirping each other as they make their way back to their respective benches. 20 seconds left to go in the Halton Hills Power Bowl. Cliff top. Jimerson not biting on the fake and he's blocked. Here's Xavier Haber, AKA XCO, give it to ya. And they were saying that after his fight last week, or last, last home game of the year. It's the Hunters won against Gloucester. Landon Jimerson gets it out to Cayman Dybo. The Hunters have killed the penalty off. Reese Glover Kirby's out. Owen Rice driving to the goal. Tied up. Got it. He's not going to shoot it. Tries a backhander. And Halton's on it. Shaw clock was down to four. And the Bulldogs accelerate back in. Thrown back. And Halton's on it. Wesley Morris not biting on the fake. Matt Labutte, back up top, skip to the far side, Labutte, a bouncer, save Nicholas and that'll go out of play, Halton Hills gets a fresh 30, 17-14 left to go in period number 3, Gamawagi 5, Halton Hills 4, skip to the middle, a shot through traffic and that hits the boot, they hit the ceiling, they don't call it, and once the Daibo comes back, tie two acts. He's not going to try. Two acts wraps around behind the goal and finds De Hardut Yordich McCumber. Shaw clock is down to ten. McCumber came in Daibo. Martin going to the goal, setting a screen. Shaw clock down to three. Came in. Martin held up. And he stepped in the crease. Good ball movement though by the Hunters, even though they really didn't get into any kind of set until there was about five seconds left. And back comes Halton Hills. Gondawage five, Halton Hills four, 16, 24 left to go here in the third. <coughs> Carter McKay. There's a shot. It's Nicholas to save. A rebound at the tip of the crease. Nicholas spun around. He wasn't sure where it went. Ball goes into the far corner. And Reese Glover Kirby wins that battle. He's doubled. And Reese breaks through. Wow. Those are the battles the Hunters need to win if they want to extend this series to a fifth game. Suggo Rice. The Hunters would love to see him going as well. Same thing with Connor Gorman. Suggo, Gorman, shot, scores! Give it go! Oldest play in the book, Connor Gorman with the finish, short side, seven hole right under the armpit. And for the first time tonight, the Hunters have a multi-goal lead. 6-4, advantage good guys. There's Suggo Rice's first point of the night. And Connor Gorman gets his first goal of the evening. 6-4. Advantage Hunters. I'm sorry, folks. My voice is shot. I was at the Blue Jays game today. And then my allergies were running wild all week. Well, actually, all weekend here. 2 on one Hunters the other way. Gorman fires. Save by Constantinopolis. I sound like that coach in the background does right now. Raspy. And here come the Bulldogs. There's a shot. Pad save. Nicholas. A rebound. Deflects to the far side. Scooped up by Holton Hills. And here are the dogs. A bouncer. They score. Gavin Tebow lets it go. And that stops a 6-0 run. And that'll make it 6-5. Gonna walk eight with 15.09 left to go. Not gonna be easy, folks. Hold on. 
Six five. I hope so. I hope so, baby girl. Intercepted by Gunawagi. Look at that defensive play by Billy Donata. <coughs> they hard at yardage McCumber. Cayman Diabo. Suggle Rice. Back to Cayman. Skipped over to the near side. They hard at yardage McCumber. Shot. Stick save made. Trying to go five hole on Constantinopolis. Back comes Halton Hills. Got Milwaukee. Six Halton Hills. Five. Now we're going for joining us on this Saturday night. Hoping that you'll be seeing us tomorrow at 2 o'clock as well. That's when game five would take place. Hunters trailing 2-1. to one. They got their backs against the wall here. They need a win. It's the only series going on. Aqua's us. They swept the Clarington Green Gales last night. Aurelia got swept by Nepean. And uh, Orangeville swept Gloucester. I was really shocked about that series. I honestly thought Gloucester would get one or two games out of that. Connor Gorman. In a one-on-one -on -one up top with Hayes. Skips it over. Suggle Rice goes to the top. Gets it out to Cayman Dibo. Shot clock at three. Cayman dropping back. Got the spin. He scores! A hit and ball track! Cayman Dibo! He scores! This wasn't even a hidden ball trick, folks. Constantinopolis just lost track of this. Not yet, baby girl. Boy, Constantinopolis losing track. When it gets to 0 0 0, look at the time 13 45. That's how much time's left. Boy, even the. Even the scorekeeper here didn't know that it was scored by Cayman Dibo, but Cayman Dibo gets a screen from Owen Rice. They work a give and go. Shot clock down to one. I hope you didn't break it, baby. Uh, it's not broken. Face off violation against the Hunters off the draw. So Cayman Dibo has scored to put the Hunters back up to two. It's 7-5, K-Town. McKay, LeBut, Hayes, and there's a bounce shot. That does not hit the Hunter tender. In fact, it goes out of play. Henderson. And now it is Gorman. <coughs> Bringing it back out is Connor Gorman. Dehardu Yardage McCumber. 13 13 to go in period number three. Gunawagi seven. Halton Hills five. Came and Dibo tripped up. What a goal! What a goal! He's a magician, albeit a wounded one as he's slipping back. Came and Dibo from his derriere bounces one upstairs while being down low. And the Hunters are up by three. That is a hat trick for Cayman Zaibo. I'm sorry, that's all I got, folks. <laughs> I was at a Jays game today. Hunters up by three. Eight, five. Got Nawage. Side here, tied up, and the ball squirts free. Picked up by Wata Daibo. Daibo. Gorman. Back up top. The Hunters have gone on an 8-1 run and they are up 8-5 came in Dybo scoring two in a row Gorman around the screen Shafik, he's got an open lane oh and he's denied in tight trying to fake far side and tuck it in short big stop by Constantinopolis Owen Rice that shot nods and hit the net bounces back out they hard at Jordan's McCumber shot clock at 17 McCumber, back out, shot fake, spin around by Dehind your with Deer, tied up, gets it on, save made, a rebound, Martin bumps his man off, and he stepped in the crease. Yeah, he had a foot in the crease. If you're just joining us, folks, like Kerry Goodleaf is, Gahnawagi leads Halton Hills by a score of 8-5. to five. 
Asquatha McCumber, you as well. I'm not giving a shout out too many of you, but that's a good thing. Yeah, we're going for joining us here on this Saturday night. Hoping to join to have you join us tomorrow for game five. Should the hunters hang on here? Leading this one by a count of 8-5. There's a shot. Hot save by Nicholas. Ball squirts free, and it is scooped up. And here comes Savia Haber. Haber fires. Scores! Savia Haber! X go! Give it to you! He go! Give it to you! First we're going to rack, then we're going to row! First you're going to chop and go! Let it go! Savia Haber! I swear that's the last time you'll ever hear me rap, folks. X go! Give it to you! Oh, okay, I'm done. Please don't ever ask me to animate, animate some kind of a rap ring. So, all right. Okay. I got to take a bit of a break here, folks. Uh, I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over here. Oh. Xavier. Hey, bear. Hang on, Mealy. I almost got it set up for you, okay? Okay, baby. What a goal by Xavier Haber. Hang on, baby. I just got to set up one more. There you go. And the Hunters win the draw. Connor Gorman. Back up top. And he got slammed against the near wall by Patterson. <coughs> They hard at Yordich McCumber to Suggo Rice. Isolation. Suggo through a traffic. Save made. A rebound. Martin overran the ball. Interference on Alton Hills. Hunter's ball. Nine to five with 11 10 left to go here in the third. Owen Rice to De Hardut Yordich McCumber. Shot clock down to 12. Jordans gets a screen from Suggo. Shot clock at 7. He skips it over to the far side. A backhander. Save made. Rebound loose at the house. Scooped up by Halton. And back come the Bulldogs. 9 to 5. Gahnawagi leading Halton Hills. Here in this third. Ball on the far side, there's an isolation tie, 2x, reaches out, getting a stick in the lane, and there's a shot from the lead he sees, and they score. Zach Tarr, and that'll make it 9-6 with 10-21 to go. In that situation, if you're the Hunters defensively, either you got a switch or you don't. Two Hunters got caught staring at the ball, and Tarr was running downhill and a guy that size going downhill very difficult to contain <coughs> wait a minute Garrett Cree trying to call the official over timeout timeout hunters that is their final timeout the hunters have taken a timeout Gonhawagi leads Halton Hills 9-6 here in game 4 and honestly, if it takes me to do another one of those DMX X goal, give it to you impressions, I will do it as long as it means we score another goal. Hunters are up by three. There's 10.21 left to go in the third. I need a shot of water. Just taking a look at this facility, I mean, you got so many famous names here. Les Bartley, Terry Sanderson, Jim Veltman, who won a President's Cup back in 2007, Colin Doyle. This is the home of the Toronto Rock, folks. And right now, the Hunters hoping that they will be at the home of the Halton Hills Bulldogs tomorrow, because if they are, that means they would have hung on here and forced a game five. 
Nine to six, Kahnawagi leading with 10.21 left to go in the third. Baby girl, stay sitting, okay? Nine to six, Kahnawagi leading. Push on the back, and it's Hunter's ball. If you're just joining us, the Hunters are in maroon, the Bulldogs are in white. Henderson got it over. Here's Deharu Yordans McCumber. 9 to 6, Ganawagi leading. Deharu Yordans. Around the screen. Shot clock down to 14. If you're the Hunters here too, you gotta be careful. Don't get too stagnant on offense. Kamen. Skips it. Suggle Rice. Shot clock down to 3. Kamen Daimo. Has to fire. It does. Save made. A rebound. Halton knows ball. <coughs> 9.35 to go in the third. Here is Merrick Leme. Back up top. And there's the return feed. Shot comes in. Save made. Henderson has a look. Decides not to pass it up. Henderson gets by. Across center. It's Mark Henderson. He drops it back. Owen Rice lost the handle, got it back. Now we're going to the 90 plus folks watching us live here on Baby Boo Memories. This game brought to you by Mohawk Super Bingo. Owen Rice, uh, Suggle Rice, drives to the goal. Shot, pat saved by Constantinopoulos. And Halt is on it. Wittich brings it back across center. 9 6 Hunters leading with 8.45 to go in the third. If the Hunters win, we will have a game five for you at 2 p.m. Down low, and that is intercepted by Dehunaldige Nicholas. Alton Hills can't have too many of those empty possessions. Xavier Haber, kind of hoping that he would make me rap again, but he decides not to. Gorman. Connor Gorman, shot clock down to 10, brings it in. Gorman, Spinorama, reuses the screen. He shoots! Stick save made by Constantinopoulos. And Halton's on it. Brought to the near side. 9 to 6, Gahnawagi leading. Eight minutes to go in the third. Feet out in front. And their shot doesn't land on net. Ball behind the creek, the net. And picked back up by the dogs. Shot clock doesn't reset. We got an interference on the Hunters. Halton Hill's possession with 7.53 to go in the third. Played up top. Here's Carter McKay. There's a shot. Chest save. And it's scooped up by Henderson. And away he goes. Henderson turning on the Jets. Full blast at the Halton territory. Henderson pushed from behind. But he was kind of falling forward. And here comes Halton. One on one. And that shot by Leme doesn't hit the net. And side here finishes Leme. Halton, is, Halton, however, will get it as the referees declared that was illegal. 9-6, Gahnawagi leading Halton Hills. 7-15 to go. Up top, McKay. Labut around the screen. Shot, stick saved by Nicholas. And Sidear is on it. They hard to yard it's McCumber. Whips it back out to Gorman. Gorman. They hang your knuckle deer. Back out. Rice had it stripped. Gorman back defensively. One on one. Hayes trying to. Ch Patterson challenging him. Save made. And the Hunters in no rush right now, leading by three with six and a half left to go. Connor Gorman. Gorman. Came in. Out in front. Martin can't finish. Gorman tied up and Halton will scoop it up. Back come the dogs. 6.04 left to go in the third. Feet out in front. Man got free. 
Nicholas denies it. Interference called on Ty Tuax. It'll give it back to Halton Hills. 5.58 left to go. You're the Hunters. He can't really waste time arguing any call right now. Just man up. Man up and man on. Henderson knocked it free, but it's scooped up in the corner. Played to the far side. There's a high screen and a shot. No. Picked back up by the Dogs. Nicholas to save. A rebound. What a move by Balmley. Ho, oh, ho. Oh, whoa. Well, Daibo challenging. And he's in the crease. Tyland Daibo, what a move. Boy, Tyland Daibo broke some ankles. It's 5.25 to go in the third. 9-6 Hunters. Here comes Carter McKay. Jump shot. No! And back come the Hunters. If there's a game five, if the Hunters hang on, we will have that for you tomorrow at 2 p.m. And uh, get down, baby. Stay down. And we will have that live. And I'm probably going to do it on this channel. It's like where we're getting the most speed. And until my YouTube starts working. Daimo! Stepped in the crease. Back comes Halton Hills. And that shot missed. Xavier Haber scoops up the Lucy. Haber running near side. Haber whips it out to Gorman. 4.46 left to go in the third. Gahnawagi leading Halton Hills 9 to 6. Can the Hunters force a fifth game tomorrow? That would be at 2 p.m. We will have that for you live, probably on my Facebook. Behind your knuckle deer. Shot clock down the four. Driving the goal. Deer, sharp angle shot, and he stepped in the crease. Halton Hills possession. Up to center. And it's thrown away, and the Hunters have possession. Four minutes to go, tie two X. Oh, he tried to challenge the Halton defender, and still has possession, amazingly. Despite losing his balance and getting chopped a couple of times. Penalty! No, no penalty. Okay, I thought there was. Owen Rice. Driving to the goal. Triple T. Oh, that's going to be a penalty! Boy, that was a hit to the head, it looks like, of Owen Rice. Certainly high. Two minutes for an illegal cross check. So the Hunters will go to work on a power play. This one brought to you by Find the Queen and Mohawk Super Bingo. Gahnawagi leading Halton Hills 9 to 6. And the Hunters are out of timeouts here, so. Power play Gahnawagi. And I'll tell you what, they are in the driver's seat. And it's not like it's a Zamboni. I mean, it's a driver's seat, like a whatever car you want. As a kid, I always wanted a Hummer. Here's a shot, save made. Rebound, Halton. Not able to scoop it up. It's thrown away by the dogs. And they're going to double team him. And he breaks through it. Chin strap, chin strap. He's playing with illegal chin strap. The chin strap is loose. And Gorman, I mean, gee, that was right in front of him. Anyway, 2.50 left to go. Connor Gorman. Dehardu Jordan's McCumber. Owen Rice, down low, came in Daibo. No look past it, Dehardu Jordan's shot off the far post. Owen Rice scoops it up, sees the pressure, gets away from Harlan. Goes back into the corner, scoops it up top for Dehart at Yordis McCumber. He pump fakes, gets it back out. Came and Daibo from the ladies' tees. That shot is stopped as Suggle Rice was turned away, and the Hunters are back on it. Fresh 30, Gahnawage. And it's stolen. 
Well, Hunt is could have burned some more clock. Instead, Halton scoops it up, and it's knocked away. There's a shot, no. And it's intercepted by Henderson. And Mark Henderson will come over to the far near side. A minute 50 left to go in this third period. The Hunters leading Halton Hills 9 to 6. <coughs> and the power play is now over. Uh, find the Queen. Power play comes to an end. They heard it. Jordan's is saw it. Turned away. Ball to flex. And Malcumber's on it. Execution has been all hunters here down the stretch. Behind your knuckle deer decides not to pull the trigger. Came in Dybo. He'll shoot off the mask. Ball the flex to the far corner. Deer digging after it. Oh, and Dylan Martin's going to take a penalty. And now look at this. And the halted player is going to swing at Dehan Yurakwa, dear. That is Ryan Patterson, the 20 year old. And dear, the rookie. Frustrations boiling over for Halton Hills. But if you're the Hunters, you have to remember just get out, don't talk. Just like, remember, Halton Hills picked up a game misconduct at the end of last night. You cannot do that if you're the Hunters. Don't engage. You're going to win this game from the looks of things. And the referee is going to have a laundry list worth of penalties to sort out here. So, Dylan Martin got the initial call for a slash. And again, I mean, it looks like we're going to have a fifth game here. Unless Halton can really turn on the Jets. They get a power play, so it's time for uh, Ball Super Bingo find the queen. Penalty kill. Five on four Bulldogs. Ball comes up top. Steal. There's a shot, pad save. Rebound stays in play. Reese Glover Kirby knocks it bad down. Steal. There's a bouncer, that's blocked. Final minute of play in the third. Steal. Down low. Shot, save made. A rebound to Donna, knocks it back. Comes out in front. Nicholas doesn't have to get a piece of it as that shot is airmailed. Ball comes to the far corner. <coughs> Down low, intercepted, and Nicholas scoops it up. 30 seconds left, five second differential game at shot clock. The game is in the refrigerator, the bacon is jaking, the jello is jiggling, the chicken is marinating in paprika and parsley and some HP sauce. We are going to game five. 10 seconds to go. McCumber just fire this one. And now look at this, McCumber. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hey, he's been double teamed right now. That might be a third man in. Uh oh. Only four hunters out there now, a fifth. Oh, if you can hear. And now one of the Bulldogs are being ejected. Alex Messier gone. They heard it, Jordan's McCumber goes out as well. And there goes Wata Daibo.
And we've got game five coming up here. Oh, whoa. The show is off the floor here. Alright, there we go. Game four is over, and the Hunters have won this game 9 6. And we will have a do or die fifth game tomorrow. We'll be live at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Your final score Gunawagi Hunters 9, Halton Hills Bulldogs 6. We'll see you tomorrow. Honey, get away.